Welcome back to my garden and on an update about pollinating your cucumbers. In the last video, I explained to you with no demonstration how the female flowers start out very similar to this. This one has already bloomed and stopped. You've got your little stem like you have on your male flowers. Then you have a little itty bitty baby cucumber and a flower at the top. And that flower opens just like the male flowers. The male flowers are just a little itty bitty stem with the flower that opens up on the top. Now when you have a male and a female flower, you want to pick your male flowers off the vine. Take the petals off. This is a male flower from the Tokiwa cucumber, and these are the Garden Sweet Cucumbers. I already went through and pollinated my female flowers today with the male flowers from this plant. However, I have no female flowers on any of my other plants. So, what you want to do is you want to peel the petals away from the source of pollen in the center, like so. You want to be very careful because sometimes you can split that as you peel the petals off. And for, and for demonstration purpose, I have another male flower from my Tokiwa. So what you want to do, once you pick the male flower off, is you want to come up to the female flower, which will look like this little cucumber, little flower, okay? And you want to very carefully take the pollen head and mix it in with the female flower, like so. Spin it around, don't push too hard, and then you're done. You're pollinated. You wait to see if it actually pollinated and will grow a cucumber. You can still take this pollen head and pollinate more flowers with it if you have more female flowers. However, as you can see with the female flower, there is a beautiful cucumber and a flower opening up overhead. And I have more up the line that are much larger. When you're growing different varieties, Especially when one, like the Garden Sweet Cucumber, puts out mostly female flowers and almost no male flowers. And the other varieties put out more male flowers than female flowers. If you have pollinators, you're going to get cross-pollination. So, it is highly likely that the cucumbers I have down below are cross-pollinated. This cucumber I hand-pollinated with a flower off of the same plant. However, this pep cucumber was pollinated by pollinators. So it is most likely a cross between the Japanese long cucumber, which had male flowers out at the time. It is most likely a cross between the Japanese long cucumber, which had male flowers out at the time, and the garden sweet cucumber for which it sits on that had all female flowers out at the time. So, you will never know when you're growing more than one variety if you have a pure cucumber or a cross between the two for which you're growing. Thank you all for tuning in. Until next time.